What's up y'all, it's Zion and I'm back with another video. So today, I finally, <coughs> finally got my folks subscription. Keep it a I was trying to stack shit, so I started stacking it. They could never stop the dream, man, the vision wicked clean. I just under Now, I'm gonna give y'all a very honest review. I had my first appointment with folks February 19th. It is now March 7th. Happy birthday to my great sibling, uh, Dion, turned 25 today. It's the 7th of March, and I am just now receiving my medication. That is a problem for me because I've been off of my shop for three weeks. Like, as, as it was getting closer to them actually shipping my item, um, I was like, yo, I cannot wait any longer. I need my meds ASAP. So I had to contact my old doctor. Um, and just had have to have her just refill um, a prescription for me so that I could have so I could take my shot. So I took my shot yesterday, so I won't be taking my shot today. Um, but I at least know that for the future I'll have tea on hand. Yesterday when I went to go get tea, that was supposed to be very temporary. Literally could have been one vial and I would have been happy with it. I got five vials, so I have more vials than I need. So I'll be set for those vials, and then I have a 10 mil vial uh, of testosterone here but i do want to show y'all um you know what i have what it, it comes with so if you guys ever think about going with folks you kind of know what they uh what comes with in your first package if you are you know uh gonna be on t because if you're not gonna be on t i can't promise that it'll be the same packaging and everything but um i got it delivered this is my sharps container um they gave a they sent a sharps, sharps container and then this is that that beautiful box that everybody wants you know um says HRT across it. It is, a, it, is, it is, I mean, it is a sight for sore eyes, but my eyes were so fucking sore, I had to go get, um, I had to go get the tea because I couldn't fucking wait. It does have a little damage to it, which kind of sucks. I was hoping to hold on to this for a minute here, but, uh, it's okay. So it does give you a little guide so you know what you're doing. If you've never done it, they give you some information about self-injecting. Beautiful thing for people who are, you know, just starting. They just kind of advise you to reach out, um, just tell you different ways to get in contact with them. A single Band-Aid just flew out. I don't know if it's, I think this was in here. I think it was just because it was in It was in here. But um, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. So in here I have 25 gauge needles, some 20 gauge needles. Glad I got these. And then I got some syringes. They're one milliliter syringes. This is the 10 mil bottle. Uh, let me actually take a look at it. I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger. And then along with that, get a bunch of gauze sponges. And um, when I was in South Carolina, I have to help tell a whole story about that. Um, but they were suppressing my tea where I was only getting a vial a month. And I need, <laughs> need more than that um, in order to get through. So it's like about two dosage within, within like one like little 200 milliliter little, little smaller ones. Um, so yeah, but I mean, that's pretty much what I got with it. Um, I showed you kind of what it looks like as well. Got you some B-roll. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy to finally have it. And yeah, <laughs> I just wanted my medication. I wanted to make sure that I'm good because not only like when I'm off my tea, it doesn't, it's not just like, oh, like I'm scared. I'm going to just fucking start looking like a girl. Like, no, it's, it's way fucking deeper than that. Like it affects my mental, it affects my physical. Tempers are a lot shorter because like my hormones are all over the fucking place because when I'm on my shot every week, I'm at a constant regimen. And now I actually am having to get back to where I was. Now, um, initially when I talked to my doctor, okay, it does say sub Q. But on the bottle, it says for intramuscular use only. So I think that this, I'm just gonna, do, I'm gonna do what it says on the bottle. I wanted to switch back to sub Q because honestly, it's a lot easier than doing intramuscular. But at the same time, I'm just like, I'm, I don't mind doing uh, intramuscular. I used to mind it so much because um, I used to do it in my thigh. Now I do it in like my buttocks, which it doesn't, it's not your ass cheek. It's literally like the muscle on your back so I literally I'm it almost seems like I'm injecting my lower back rather than like my my ass cheek so don't if if you're doing intramuscular I have a really good video that I, I, I can recommend you you could DM me on Instagram or something like that and I can send it to you um, but that helped me really get comfortable with doing intramuscular um, I wouldn't advise doing it in your thigh for me it's just like you just it's so much I don't know I think it's a part of like it being in front of you and then like, I don't know, something about the thigh, I'm like, ugh. Even when I was doing sub-Q and I would, I would do like 
the thigh, like on the side, that would even like make me feel weird. I think it's just like a lot of nerves there. Um, so I definitely would recommend like the buttocks because it's hella easy and there's no pain. There's usually, it's usually pretty painless. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, thank y'all for watching. Ain't much to it. So thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications if you haven't already so you can catch whenever I post a video. Um, if you guys are looking to uh, check out folks, do it at your own will. Just be sure you're ready to be patient. I don't know if it's with the way things are, like it's a political year, so maybe laws are up in the air in a lot of places, or maybe it's just some sort of shortage. I don't know what's going on, but it took me three weeks to get my freaking package. So um, if you like, if you are thinking about switching, I would say make sure you have some dosage on hand or be prepared to reach out to your, um, your previous PCP. Um, or endocrinologists to see if they can get something filled in the meantime because that's what I ended up having to do um, but I, I'm not going to say this is everyone else's experience because a lot of people have had a very convenient, ex convenient experience with folks I'm not going to totally like you know crap on them or anything like that like if you if you know what it's like to miss your shot for more than one week like you know that that shit is no joke and that's not you know an inconvenience it's not um, it's not something to be taken lightly but I'm alive and well and I made it, but um, y'all have a good rest of your day. I'm gonna do the same. Peace. Living in my dreams every single day, man. I do it by any means. Stack, 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 stack it up.